Sanchez on to get us started. And off we go on EA Sports. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year and even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. This is a big campaign for the former Rookie of the Year runner-up. He wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. A thousand yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramon Ray Stevenson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Plays like that will really help this offense settle in here on the road. And when you go on the road, you also have to deal with the fans as well. And when you have those types of runs, that'll settle them back into their seats. Now Jones. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Stevenson. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Throwing Jones. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Now a second and ten. Throwing again. Jones. Short pass caught by Henry five yards now it's third and five so the completion there but Charles looking at this defense certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon what are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top well the first thing partner is they just allowed a completion there they don't want to get a string of those going let him get his confidence let him get into the rhythm of the game the flow of the game and all of a sudden he's feeling like he can do no wrong you want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. So they decline the hold, and that's going to lead to a fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Beringer on to punt for the Patriots. Back deep for the Colts, Isaiah McKenzie. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. The Colts offense set to go to work, and they're led by a guy who's bounced around a bit the last few years, hoping to find a home with Indianapolis, Gardner Minshew. So this is what we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. Now the NFL's leading rusher in 2021, Jonathan Taylor. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. 
11 yards for number 11. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. First and 10, Taylor now. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 21, here's second down and seven. Minshew sets to throw. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They'll go play action here with Minshew. That is incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Patriots take over. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Throw left side complete. That's Douglas. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Jones now on first and 10. Completes it to Douglas. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards on the play. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10. Down at the 31. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and ten. They'll try to left side with Stevenson. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. 
Looking to throw. Jones working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. To throw again, Jones. Open right side, complete. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. This drive didn't end well, but if they can keep stringing these together, they'll like what they're doing. That was an eight-play drive before it ended in a fumble. So the takeaway's got to be doing what we want to do and doing it well. Just got to take care of the ball at the end. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They'll take over deep in their own end after the fumble recovery as they start first and ten. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. There he goes left side. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Second and ten. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out and right up the middle. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Minshew. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. But we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it. There you go. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. 
They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent gain and first down. Simply put, you've got to put more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. From the gun, it's Taylor. Oh, nice move. <laughs> And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Out of the gun is Minshew. And that is incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Gay's kick is good, and the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. New England's offense set to go. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punch in the end zone without turning it over. He'll fire it deep for Rager. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, after incompletions on first and second down, it certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense... Quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. A big play there for New England. 57 yards. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3 nothing. our score. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll look to throw again. There's Henry, touchdown Patriots. Hunter Henry, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have taken the lead. 
Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. Certainly looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons, and he certainly made them regret that because he found the soft spot, ended up taking it to the end zone. Nice throw, too, to complete the play. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. now following the touchdown back out to kick it away taken at the goal line and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24 here comes Jonathan Tanner and his teammates and I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit he's he's been great but they haven't scored a lot of points I think they still have to show him as a threat make sure he touches it a few times but as you pointed out Use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Minshew, first and ten. The left side taken in by Pittman. Yeah, he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. He's got his first catch here before halftime and it goes for a first down. And Minshew going to get him to the line quickly. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Let's one go downfield for Pierce. Oh, and that is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Again, Minshew looking to throw. That's complete to Pierce. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Colts are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Here's Minshew. Looking for Pierce, and he's got him. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alec Pierce. In the final seconds of the first half. 
And the Colts have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. We'll tick by in this first half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you back across the Atlantic to Orlando, as we say, guten tag to our guys standing by. That's Jonathan Coachman. Coach? All right, BG, thanks very much, and welcome one and all to our... We now proceed to the start of the second half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Good tight football game thus far. 10-7 the score as we resume action on EA Sports. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And the Colts going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. Up to the 20. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Throwing on second down now, Minshew. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. They'll set up a throw. And this one is incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And take it right at the 35. 
They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 43. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Short pass caught by Henry. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this down to the 41. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Jones on first down. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here now is second and ten again from the 41. Straight ahead at Stevenson. Able to avoid him at the 40. Five yards. Now it's third and five. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now Jones from the gun on third down. And he is caught, and they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 25-yard line. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Now Jones. And he is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Throwing Jones. Patriots have taken the lead here in this third quarter. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. 
Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. The 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And he's got Pierce. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A well-executed 22-yard gain. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Off the option, here's Taylor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second down, Minshew. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the Patriots are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. The Patriots' offense now. They work their way back onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here's Jones. Throwing to start the drive. He finds Douglas complete. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. Back now here on EA Sports. From the 41, here's a second down and four. Looking to throw. Jones. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he is going to lose yardage here. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpire's got different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. This ball complete to Rager. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. 
Jones now on third down. football game because if they pick up the first there that clock keeps rolling it has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline now on fourth down on is the punt team sending this one away it'll be a 39 yard punt no return and the colts will go on offense here first and ten Indianapolis offense ready to go again. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 81 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And a scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Again, it's Taylor. He takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. All going deep here for Taylor. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. A big play there for Andy. And even 40 yards. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now Minshew. They'll get this one to Pittman. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. And you know what really fires up offensive linemen? And the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Into the hands of Moali Cox, the tight end. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Here's a second and seven. On the option to give to Taylor here. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. 
Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Here's Minshew. He's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Andrew Ogletree from six yards away. And the Colts put together a fourth quarter drive to take the lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Important extra point up and through. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. So now Jones and the Patriots down 17-14. A little over a minute and a half remaining. Now they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Here's Jones. That quick throw there is incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Under 90 seconds to go. Here's second and 10. Now Jones. His throw incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back in the focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Jones setting up a screen for Stevenson. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Here we go. This is fourth down. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. He completes it to Henry. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. I like what they did there. Still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Jones. He's got Smith-Schuster. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Now second and four. To throw is Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his heart. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All 
focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Jones. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Jones looking around. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. The Colts in victory formation now as they take the knee. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Minshew down to a knee, victory formation, and that should be just about it. So this one winds up in Indianapolis victory. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch.